Charles Abel has announced that the government will be meeting top Chinese leadership in relation to China's concessional and grant aid to PNG and Pacific Island nations. Minister Abel was keen to clarify that he seldom takes trips overseas and that he was traveling in his capacity to sign off on a Chinese Exim bank loan that will finance the National Electronic ID System. Planning Minister Charles Abel will be traveling to China with an official PNG delegation that includes Prime Minister Peter O'Neill and EID officials. We'll be traveling to China for a couple of days and uh, I want to say at the outset that uh, I rarely travel uh, and really I only travel at the direction of the Prime Minister. Uh, I like to spend most of my time uh, traveling within country and uh, including my own uh, electorate. But um, there's an important uh, meeting going on in China, which is basically uh, the annual meeting between the Pacific Island country leaders and the, uh, the new political leadership in, Ch in China. Minister Abel added that the Prime Minister will be holding bilateral talks with his Chinese counterpart. Uh, in fact, the Prime Minister will be uh, coming and meeting uh, in bilaterals with the Chinese Premier, and then there'll be a general uh, plenary with all the Pacific Island leaders and there'll, there'll be a ministerial uh, meeting after that. And uh, I will also be signing the, um, the uh, Exim Bank, China Exim Bank loan for the uh, electronic identification uh, system program as well. China's strategic interest in the Pacific continues to rise as it flexes its economic muscle. In 2011, trade between Papua New Guinea and China was worth $2.1 billion, and this figure is expected to rise as China purchases 2 million tons of liquefied natural gas annually from Papua New Guinea. China has also stepped up its concessional and aid grants to Papua New Guinea in recent years. Martin Namarong, National MTV News. The Mineral Resources